At a press conference held on Thursday, the government of New Brunswick announced Fredericton would return to orange phase and the bubble between Nova Scotia and New Brunswick was no more as of midnight. I was sent into a panic and I began packing without knowing how or if I could get home for Christmas. My coworker Laura called me. She was also in a panic. And I called probably like four people like screaming, like crying, not knowing what was going on. I checked Steve Murphy's Twitter that sent me into a bigger spiral. I created a group chat with my friends from the Aquinian who also lived in Nova Scotia and we started deciding what to do. I left my apartment within an hour and a half of hearing the news. I couldn't say bye to my roommate and I knew I probably forgot so many things. I could only bring one bag and it stayed on my lap until we made it to a hotel in Truro. I absolutely hate driving in the dark um, because I am paranoid and I am anxious and like I think every shadow is a person walking across the highway but I managed to do it. By the time we got to the hotel, I was exhausted. I mean it was an exhausting day. The hotel was fun. We accidentally ordered food to a comfort inn in Fredericton instead of Truro, and Laura fell off the bed at least twice. We tried to do some work, but didn't get much done. The next morning, my dad picked Laura and I up while Shannon and Jasmine drove the opposite direction. It was maybe a four hour drive, but we got some music going to lessen the boredom. Laura and I both lived in Cape Breton, so the drive situation worked out well. I basically packed my whole life into this little duffel bag here for the next few months. So uh, we're gonna see how that goes. When we crossed the causeway into Cape Breton, I felt relief. I was going to be able to spend Christmas with my family. I'm safe and sound in Cape Breton now. COVID-19 has brought lots of shocks and surprises, but this is just one to add to the books. Oh, and I'm reunited with my cat, Sunny. This is Hannah Rutterham for Stew Journalism.